on rainy days, I used to go to Starbucks all the time and get London Fog lattes until I discovered steep tea. And now I just make my own and they're a lot cheaper and healthier for you. And I really do think that they hate, they taste better. So, um, I wanted to show you quickly how I do it and how very easy it is. So the first thing you need is obviously one of the latte mixes. Um, we have five different ones and hey Susan. <laughs> um, my favorite is the London Fog Latte, but actually, to be honest with you, I haven't tried all of them because I just always either go with that or the chai latte, or I make my own matcha latte. Hey, Laura. So we do have five. They're all $19 each. Um, we have the Caramel Roivas Latte, the Canadian Maple Latte, the London Fog Latte, the chai latte, the London Mist Latte, and then we have a matcha latte, but I didn't want you guys to get that mixed up because to make that, it's a totally different process. So this is really just for the five um, regular lattes that we carry. And out of those five, two of them are dairy, so they have some milk powder added to them, so you actually don't need to add the milk um, if you didn't want to. Uh, so you definitely would need a tea press for the dairy ones. But the other three, you could use steeping sacks. So if you have these at home, that's all you would need. Um, they're just like disposable tea bags. You would put the mix in and steep it for 20 or 30 seconds <clears throat> and then add your milk. But I'm gonna show you guys using the tea press because I really love mine. It is pretty large. Um, I used to have a coffee press, um, but it broke. They were really thin glass, so it was very easy to break. I think I had two, they both broke. But this one's like very thick. Um, and pretty big so you can make a couple at a time and um, yeah I mean they're very simple concept and if you have a coffee press at home you can use that too for the latte mixes but just keep in mind that it might taste a little bit like coffee so basically all you do is you take your tea press so I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see better and you would take whatever it says on the bag so this one's a teaspoon so it's just a little bit under a perfect cup spoon of the mix. Hey Tracy. And then you would just pour half a cup of hot water. This was literally just boiling in there. And you only let it steep for 20 seconds. So literally, I mean, I'll, I'll set this timer, but it's very quick. Then you take the top of the tea press when that goes off. And then you would press the plunger down and pour it out. And that's all you do for the actual mix part. And then to make it into a latte, okay, so it just went off. I press this down. And then this is our perfect teacup. I'm gonna pour it in there so you can see it. Now it's a really concentrated steep, so it doesn't look like a whole lot. And you can make more, but I just made a half a cup. Um, and then you have that. I'm gonna take a third a cup of milk, pour that into our milk frother. And you just froth up the milk a little bit. And I know I've told everyone my trick to milk frothing, but that third a cup of milk just made all of this milk, like pretty much doubled in size. And then I always microwave it for 20 seconds. So that sets the milk so it doesn't fall when you put it into your drink. Because if you don't do that, sometimes like the milk bubbles just tend to fall and it doesn't really matter. You don't have to do that. I just like it. It makes it more of like a firm latte top. Um, so after that's done um, microwaving, I'll just pour that on top and that's all you do with our latte mixes. Um, this is our trendy tea press, our stainless steel milk frother. This is our tea lovers tea cup and saucer. And yeah, I mean these London Fog lattes, I really do think, I would love to hear from someone who tries these and who normally gets them at Starbucks. I think that our tea blend just tastes so much stronger. Um, that's all you do. That's a London Fog Latte. I know it's a lot of milk. It looks like a lot of milk, but it was only a third a cup. And so anyway, using a third a cup of skim milk, it's probably four grams of sugar, 
probably around 25 calories, and that's only from the um, milk. The actual mix doesn't have any calories or any sugar. Whereas like the London Fog Latte at Starbucks, that is 180 calories and 30 grams of sugar. So there's a big difference. Plus you're paying around $4 for that. And our latte mixes will make you at least 20 cups. So that will be $19. It's a lot cheaper in the long run. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that um, you guys can try our latte mixes and hopefully that was helpful. And if anybody ever wants videos on how to make anything, just ask because I'm happy to make them. Thanks. Bye.